My mouth at tea time? Not a pretty sight. But then, neither is the state of dentistry on the NHS. Drill, Bill and Bill was the old NHS way. One year on from government changes, meant to help more of us find our way onto a dentist chair, I wanted to find out if they were working. We found two people who have to get on a plane to see a dentist. Rust just wants his teeth checked up, Nicholas had already checked out. Rush lives in Elgin, 60 miles north from Aberdeen. He's been on an NHS waiting list for a year. We moved up here uh, 13 years ago, um, and we can't get an NHS dentist. Luckily, Mum came to the rescue, don't they always? My mum said she's sure that her dentist is taking on um, NHS patients, so I phoned them up and made an appointment. Only trouble is, Mum's dentist is 600 miles away. Nicola in Sheffield has a jaw-dropping 1,000 miles to travel. I was absolutely devastated when my dentist turned around and said to me, Nicola, the only option you've got is obviously to have teeth out. Nicola had a hereditary gum disease. All her teeth were falling out. At 52, there was no way on earth I wanted to wear dentures. Which was all that was on offer on the NHS. So it appears no one is smiling. Waiting to see your local dentist can be like pulling teeth. You know, it might even be quicker to jump on an aeroplane. <laughs> Russ is heading for the My Firth to Fulham for his checkup. First stop, Aberdeen for the flight to London. I estimate that we've um, done about a third of the journey. Got another four hours to go, really. Four and a half hours to go. Nicola needs a passport for her treatment. She's on a plane to Budapest in Hungary. I've got no option because I just cannot afford the prices in the UK. They came back with a price of £52,000, which was phenomenal. Yes, she did say fifty-two grand. But where are you supposed to get that kind of dosh? Let down by the NHS, and here's the reason. Dentists can only see so many patients before their money is cut off. Those who've got high treatment needs it means that dentists don't want to treat them because they're going to make a financial loss out of it. Nicola's finally arrived at her dentist in Budapest, six hours and a thousand miles later. Russ's six hours have only taken him 600 miles and he's still stuck on the tube. This is um, the continuation of my outrageous journey to get dental treatment. This is completely unfair. Being asked to open wide is enough to cope with, but when it's your wallet they're talking about, it's downright scary. <laughs> Russ and Nicola, two people having to go that extra mile to get their teeth seen to. Between them, more than 3,000 extra miles in fact. At 52, there was no way on earth I wanted to wear dentures. Nicola lost all her teeth to a hereditary condition, but the price to replace them was gobsmacking. I came back with a price of £52,000, which was phenomenal. Uh, I just went into a depression because I thought there's no way on earth I could afford that amount of money. Short of selling her house, Nicola had no choice but to head to Hungary. Russ had a six hour journey to do for my birth to Fulham. This is um, the continuation of my outrageous journey to get dental treatment. This is completely unfair because I've paid all my contributions and uh, can't get local dental treatment. All he wanted was to find a local NHS dentist. So how have you been? Not bad. Yeah? Yeah, everything's fine. So six months set up. Uh -huh. okay, and how's Scotland? Scotland's lovely. This is one of the largest NHS practices in London, seeing 250 sets of teeth every day. Never one to look a gift horse in the mouth, I asked Henrik Nielsen, the practice manager, to make that 251. How are you looking, Henrik? Well, this looks rather good, actually. Do you know, that's the first time I've ever heard that from a dentist. Normally, I say you need 24 fillings and three crowns and a couple of gold ones in there as well. But oh, we're busy. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I saw you waiting about about side. Henrik is one of thousands of dentists having to turn patients away because the government have put a cap on the numbers they can treat. Some are even shutting up shop. I mean, that's no way to run a business, is it? It's a shambles. And patients who want to come here 
will have to go somewhere else. I mean, patient choice is out of the window. Patients cannot come here and be sure that we can treat them. You've seen the waiting room. I, I've seen 18 emergency patients. Most of them I, I have never been here before this afternoon. And we have to deal with patients. They're in pain. What does the government want us to do? Send them away. I mean, we believe in high quality NHS dentistry. And this contract is simply ruining NHS dentistry. This is the way of then capping their total expenditure. So, okay, we've got X amount of pounds. We're going to give that to you if you hit these points. But second you hit the points, end of story. No more money. No more money. I mean, when we had to shut down our surgery in March because we ran out of units, it was really, really infuriating. Clown's looking well, isn't it? Yeah. Wonderful, Mr. O'Neill. Nice seeing you again. So how's Rush getting on? That's the treatment done for another six months. I'm resigned to the fact that in six months' time I'll have to do the whole thing again, the uh, whole journey. So, to get his pearly whites checked out, Russ travelled for six hours, covered 600 miles, and it cost him 550 smackers. Uh, your gum is perfect. Will you open a little bit? Trouble is for Nicola, she's had to open wide a thousand miles from home. You can get the ultimate technology for less money. Remember your original gun mm -hmm. was very red, mm -hmm. now it's very hard. To so make Nicola leaving Budapest with a smile on her face. Exactly. It's a to get from nothing to a nice set of strong teeth. That took 12 hours of travel, 2,100 miles and 16 and a half grand. But overall, she saved over 35 grand. I feel more confident. I'm able to go out and have the food and not feel ashamed of showing my false teeth, you know, not being able to sit and socialise with other people uh, and sit and eat a meal in front of everybody. And it boosts my confidence. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not bothered about smiling. <laughs> okay.